Hey guys, Kevin here. So, um, I wanted to do a recap on the Razer phone. Uh, sorry about the camera quality, but uh, sadly I had to use my uh, MacBook and it's not the best camera in the world. And I'm kind of hoping it kind of comes out somewhat well. It doesn't look like it will, but uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we should have some good video quality. As it is right now, I still have the Razer phone. It is still on me. One thing I will say, I've got a few complaints with this phone and it is design based. So there, there are a few complaints uh, with this phone. Uh, otherwise, as a person who has always used an Apple iPhone and has never really owned an Android phone, it is possibly one of the best upgrades or I've had for a long time. It's definitely different. With pure Android, I'm actually enjoying it. I've had Samsung Android and uh, some a lot, and I've used Samsung Android, so I have, and uh, I've had a use of a phone called Meizu, and I had Find Me OS, which was a skinned Linux or skinned Android uh, OS. But this here, pure. Android, which is quite cool. Uh, so this is the phone. Uh, I've had it for a couple of. I've been playing around with it. Uh, the uh, the mod or the actual Nova settings that's on this is pretty good. I've been playing with that as well. Uh, I'm sure what some people want to see is actual emulation or how it actually performs gaming. Pretty much, I have been actually playing a few games on this. So PlayStation Emulator, Neo Simulator. Dreamcast emulator and the uh, PSP emulator, which all work fantastically. And for games wise, we have Real Racing 3, Sonic 1, uh, Dead Trigger, uh, Doom, uh, uh, basically Bethesda Pinball. Uh, let's see if this actually focuses. Oh, it's a crappy camera on this MacBook. <laughs> Uh, Dune and uh, a little thing called a game booster that comes with every Razer phone, which is kind of cool. Uh, what that does is it allows the phone to overclock. You can actually make the phone overclock itself every time you turn on a certain application. So whenever you're picking a certain application, it'll clock the CPU up to the highest it can go, and you'll get better game performance in that game, which is pretty cool and can create profiles and all the rest. Uh, as it is right now, this phone I've used as my daily driver uh, for since day one. So I've had it for about three weeks now. Three weeks with this phone, and I would give it a eight out of ten. So I would uh, comparing it to the iPhone 6s that I had before this, which would have been a seven out of ten for iPhone wise. This thing. Uh, beats it, it really does uh, as an upgraded phone. Uh, as as I was saying, it is very good for emulation, but what I may do is I will video or, yeah, I'll do a screen grab of this. One thing I have been doing though, um, or one complaint that is just reoccurring all the time is Razer themselves. Uh, so. Razer are not supporting this as well as as much as I would like them to, so their support is terrible. Uh, they have brought out zero accessories. Uh, every time I go on their website, it's already sold out, or they have not replenished stock of cases. Now I have ordered a case on Amazon for this phone. It was six euros, cheap case. I still haven't received it yet, and that's not exactly their fault, but. If they've had to replenish their own stock in store, I wouldn't be waiting for a cheap Amazon cover for this. I'd be there with my Razer cover. Uh, another complaint I will have to make is the actual grills. You will not see it in this. You may see it. Little white specks are going into each of the <laughs> uh, into the little hole or into the little holes on the speaker now again 
all phones with holes in them, they get dirt in them, but this feels like an afterthought of uh, how people are actually going to use this phone. And I found myself going over the phone every day, going over it with a little brush like this, and just kind of doing this. But I know what this is going to do, it's going to end up wearing down on the paint and it's going to damage it so it is eventually. But I hate seeing little white speckles uh, in a black phone, so it's it depends if that annoys you or not. Uh, I know it used to even annoy me with the, with the just the little slit of the iPhone, kind of thing getting caught in there. So this here I just have a full grill on the top and little random white speckles all over the top. And sometimes the bottom, the bottom isn't as bad, I will say. The bottom doesn't seem to be catching it as much. I don't know why. But um, yeah, uh, that's that's pretty much uh, my two only complaints with the phone so far. Kind of a complaint, but not really a complaint. Uh, it's the where the situation of the fingerprint scanner for me personally. Uh, some people may like where it is, but um, for me personally, it is kind of out of the way. Like I. My car, it has Apple CarPlay on it. Well, it did. <laughs> so, uh, I'm now out of, I'm, if you're jumping from Apple to this thing, get ready to lose a lot of stuff or have to kind of retrain yourself to doing other things. There is a few cool things, I'll get to that now in a second, that uh, for Apple users, that like myself, that has made life so much easier. Uh, could be transferring data from my iPhone using the Google transfer uh, thing, that, was very handy, uh, very handy to transfer all my uh, information over to the Android phone, which was pretty cool. And also, for all you Apple Music uh, fans out there, the Android's Apple Music app, Apple Music, it works pretty well. Uh, one thing I will warn you: if you do not switch on a thing on cellular to make it download better quality music while you're on cellular, it, it's not going to download the better quality music. That's why I kind of found it comes as default with all the better music turned or all the better quality music once you go out of a Wi-Fi zone off. So that's a word of warning for all you Apple users out there. So I guess might as well get to the uh, meat and potatoes of this video which is the gaming. So um, we're going to hop over to the phone itself and we're going to do some video recording on the phone itself. So uh, just a word of warning, what I will be using is my <laughs> my uh, Legend of Zelda Nintendo Switch controller. Uh, what I do have it set up with is this. So I have a converter to uh, USB-C and uh, it's directly wired. Uh, this is what I mainly use for my games, so uh, So, as you may see, this, this is awkward. So, it works pretty well. Uh, it's done the job so far. So, while I am gaming, I will be using my controller. And actually, that works a lot better. So, maybe, as you may see there. The analog stick works pretty good, so um, I will be using my controller. Uh, the touchscreen works perfectly fine. I just don't like using touchscreens, and that's not anything against the phone itself. I just hate using touchscreens to play games, and that's just that. <laughs> so uh, what I'm going to do is jump to the phone itself. Hey guys, so we are now on the phone. And uh, what I want to do is I want to start with the PSP. I find that to be probably the best, probably one of the more uh, intensive games actually, or kind of emulators to play. Uh, I've already started, started this game, so we'll just continue on. So... Yes, this is playing at full speed. And I do hope the screen recorder this time is actually playing it properly. <laughs> so as you may see, it's playing this actually quite well, so it is 
So, uh, and this is also with the screen recorder recording in the background, which is kind of cool. So, I have my controller. I'm going to hook my controller up to this master now. Just so I don't have to have those touch. So, my controller is now plugged in. working so what I want to do is X load so that's working pretty good let's do this again Okay. Cool. Your honor to me. I got it. So this game runs perfectly, so it does. I think that was pretty much overkill on that guy. <laughs> So yeah, most Dreamcast games are going to run perfectly on this thing. Now we're going to try God of War. Olympics. Now this game is quite intensive. Um, most emulators uh, or most uh, consoles find it hard to actually play this game when it's being emulated. So let's... Um let's do it in easy because... Um I want to give a good showing of the gameplay on this game thing. So this is playing a uh, full resolution so it is, uh, it's, uh, which is pretty cool, and it's not running terribly, like most Android phones can't play this at all, so there are kind of areas of this game which is just unplayable. So again, this is probably the worst I've actually seen it playing, um, mainly due to the to the recorder, I'd say.
And there's some GTA uh, gameplay on the emulator. That is the PSP. 